When I first met Lewis Taylor at the Arizona State Prison 33 years ago, he was sure he was going to get out of prison any day now because the lower courts had ruled that his conviction should be overturned. However, when it got to the higher courts, all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, things bogged down and it took several decades later before the courts finally relented. Engine one, two, three, Pioneer Hotel, fire reported. 43 years removed from that chaotic, tragic night in 1970, Lewis Taylor now quietly tends the grounds and does routine maintenance at the Loft Theater on East Speedway. The daily routine seems to fit where he is right now. I don't even dwell on the past, man. I, I go for it. You can't, you can't catch up in 42 years. Once you've lost that, you've lost it. Taylor is not trying to make up for lost time. There are no big book deals, no movie rights, no high dollar restitution demands. His transition is keeping it simple. I live day to day, but I don't, I don't worry about tomorrow or when, next week. I just live day to day. Somebody's yelling fire. An early morning fire has swept through the downtown Pioneer Hotel, <coughs> believed to be the worst tragedy in Tucson's modern history. 29 died as fires swept through the hotel, crowded during the Christmas holiday. More may have died had it not been for the efforts of a 17-year-old boy who had been hanging around the hotel that night. He helped people get out and was called a hero by some. The only regret I have, man, is that I couldn't save more people out there. But for others, he was the prime suspect. They go, oh, by the way, we got a little colored boy in custody. All right. That little colored boy was Lewis Taylor. Tried, convicted, but spared the death penalty. He was sentenced to 29 life terms with no chance of parole. You probably could have run that night. No, I run for what? Run away. Yeah, for what though? For what reason? I had no reason to run away for. On Tuesday, he is expected to plead no contest to the charges in exchange for his freedom. But with the power of 60 Minutes, the Justice Project, and new science, the cause of the fire was ruled inconclusive. How do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. So in a Tucson courtroom this past summer, a plea deal set him free, with no animosity, he says, for the people who put him there. Someday they got to make their, meet their maker, too. So, you know, I don't have no ill feelings against nobody or anything. I'm just trying to, you know, live and go for it. That's it. But after spending four decades in a six by eight cell, being told when to get up, when to eat, when to sleep, following strict orders every day, transitioning to a life where he makes his own choices for good or for bad can be daunting. Do you sleep good at night, though, boy? I have trouble with sleeping sometimes at night. There's a few steps that, you know, of learning about life, you know, things that you and I take for granted, you know, just... Such as? Well, the, the grocery shopping, the, the cooking, the having a, a regular schedule. Or driving a car. Taylor is content, he says, riding his bicycle for the time being. Riding a bike is the symbol of freedom, but He says he may never drive. The cars scare me, man. <laughs> you know, tell you the truth, I, I, all my friends who have nice cars, I tell them to slow down or else I'll get out right there and then, man, and they slow it down. Judy Boslos is helping with the transition by allowing him to hang around her antique shop. Helping Judy uh, move stuff. Picking up necessary life skills. Uh, you know, how to do estate sales, how to, you know, look at, you know, and get on eBay and, or look at the furniture and like an internship, you know, and that's amazing. Yeah, I, I love working. Um, I think it's just really hard for people like Lewis in his situation to find work. Which is why Peggy Johnson hired Taylor right out of prison, a relationship which has worked well for both. And he takes it very seriously, his work here, and I love that. And he's very committed to it and very proud of it. And I think it has given his life, you know, some kind of meaning. Meaning he needs because he has no family anymore, but has a committed support system which he stays close to and is loyal to. But if you want to know the story, you can go on Google. I'm on Google, so. <laughs> He was a recent guest at the Tucson Bar Association luncheon in Tucson. You know, I don't have no ill feelings against anybody, you know, and I, it's good to be free. He was honored by the NAACP for he hinted who might play him if his story ever gets to the big screen. Jamie Foxx or Will Smith. But whether Jamie Foxx or Will Smith ever play that role is just a dream for Taylor, but one that time 
has allowed him to dream. You know, society society is different from 1970, way different. You know, we got a black president, you know. Now African Americans can say, hey, if you can dream it and achieve it and architect it, you can achieve it. You can achieve anything. And what Taylor is working to achieve right now is likely one for the ages. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. And, uh, you know, my whole life story is on Google. So it'll be there for a thousand years, so oh, a million wow. years. So People know hopefully that. the 42 years won't be in vain, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's all I ask. If you'd like to hear more from Taylor, you can do that by going to an extended interview that we posted on our website, Tucson News Now. Just click on this story. Downtown at the Pioneer Building, I'm Bud Foster, KOD News 13, live locally at Breaking.